Using the splat is a great way to learn about how to draw and render spheres. Come up with a starting point on your page and center that ellipse. Then draw one ellipse. Notice how I'm keeping the splat straight up and down. Pick another ellipse, center it, and draw again. Do the same thing for the third ellipse. If it's not spot on, it won't matter. This is not a super accurate method. This is training your hand to draw your own spheres one day without any help. So just touch each of the points, go lightly in the air, then bring the pencil down, round. Nice. Rendering. We're using our number one value, our lightest value, and we're shading evenly all through the object. We're adding a highlight. That will be a little bright spot where it's reflecting the light directly into your eye. That line that we drew with a splat is kind of the shadow line. Behind that, I'm adding my number three. So we haven't used number two yet. We've got the one and the three. Now the trick is to blend the three into the one and that will be your number two value. It's called a gradation when something slowly changes. Also around the outside, add a little bit of number two value. Now you can see that definitely looks like a pretty cool 3D sphere. Here's the position of the shadow if the light source was directly above the sphere. If on an angle, follow through the object and find the shadow will sit uh, offset like that. Give it a nice even shade. And the shadow really helps it look like it's a 3D object. If I wanted to cut or section this orange, I can see on those three ellipses, three different planes that I could use to cut it. Now that you know how to draw all of the five 3D shapes, then you just need to practice to combine them and you can draw, design, anything you can imagine. Go practice. Bye.